Now, sir. Sergeant Major, I've come to inform you that I've taken over command of the battalion from Captain Abram. You'll therefore regard me as your commanding officer. I've only got one here, sir. That's Colonel Deal. As far as I'm concerned, Captain Abram is in temporary command of the battalion. As far as I'm concerned, Captain Abram is a traitor. And anyway, he's dead. I'll believe that when I see it in casualty return. In the meantime, sir, will you please remove your headdress while in the sergeant's mess and request your escort to do the same? Leave them on. Sergeant Major, I'm not interested in points of etiquette at the moment. Mr. Boniface! I've been a member of this mess for 23 years, sir. In all that time, I've never seen anybody, man, woman or child, sergeant, one and other, the field marshal or prime minister, walk into this mess with his hand upon his head! I do not see you now, sir. It worries you. Of service. I wish you to understand, Sergeant Major, that I will give you protection if you cooperate with me. Your future in my country is very limited, you must appreciate. Limited, did you say, sir? That's a very elastic word. No doubt you'll be sent back to your own country in due course. At this very moment, the new president is considering the matter. And where do you come in, Mr. Boniface? You as a loyal officer, sir, where do you come in? Loyal to whom? To the corrupt lackeys your government left to lead us when they granted us our so-called independence. Do you consider that soldiers should not be revolutionaries? Your Cromwell was a soldier, wasn't he? Did he not grab Ireland, Sergeant Major? Well, you know, sir, it was only for their own good. The mix have always been obstinate, sir. Very obstinate. As for myself, I'm a soldier. I don't understand politics. Well, I do understand them, Sergeant Major. And for my political education, I'm obliged to one of your compatriots, Miss Barker Weiss. However, I did not come here to discuss politics. I've come to tell you all that you must remain here until I receive further instructions from the new government. My men will surround the mess and they will shoot anyone who tries to leave. In the meantime, I am taking possession of the camp in the name of the new republic. Son Major, you will deliver to me all your arms and ammunition, and I will be responsible for your safety. Is that understood? Also, I shall withdraw your servants who will be required to carry arms. Corporal Abel, Private Daniel. You will collect all the mess silver and your kit and report to me in the orderly room. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, Sergeant Major, if you leave all your weapons on the veranda, I will send a squad of men to collect them. I will inform you of any later developments. Just one moment, sir. If you please. Well? Now you listen to me, Mr. Boniface. I'm a professional soldier, born across the road from Wellington Barracks. I enlisted when I was 17. By the time I was 24, I was a sergeant serving on the northwest frontier of India. Sometimes, Mr. Boniface, I'd lay awake in my tent with a hurricane lamp. Sometimes in the middle of a blizzard, reading about the exploits of other British soldiers. Sometimes I'd be lying there in my freezing cold tent, actually sweating. Beads of sweat pouring down my face from a battle 200 years old. And later on, I had a little active service of my own to take notice of. Now, what I'm coming to, sir, is this. All this experience of warfare, imaginary and otherwise, gives me a certain amount of experience to face this little misunderstanding with a certain amount of song fire. It's a fire on the wall, sir. Fight for the fella. Silly. No, I refuse to. As far as the weapons are concerned, 
I was ordered by my CO to keep them to swap flies with. But until I get further instructions from the same source, I intend to hang on to them. Now look here, sir, will you please listen to me? You seem to have gained control of this battalion by an act of mutiny. Very well. You're entitled to the mess, servants, because they're your countrymen, not mine. You're entitled to the mess property, because it stands on your soil. But if you think for one moment that I'm going to hand over the lives of these people, to the custody of a half-cooked, jumped-up, sad little blackboard body like yourself? You're very much mistaken! Do I make myself clear? Absolutely clear, Sergeant Major. 